Hello and for this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about the phenomenon known as protoplanetary disk. And specifically, we're going to discuss two separate studies that appeared only within a few days of each other, discussing two unusual discoveries from very well-known disks not so far away from planet Earth. In the process confirming that, even though we sort of understand how these disks form and how they evolve, in reality there are many things we still don't understand, and many things that are still very surprising. And because all of these disks then evolve into various star systems, understanding how they evolve is important in order to understand how various planets form as well. Although generally they've always been seen as this. These pancake-like formations that interact with the star and interact with matter around them in order to at some point start producing planets which then end up sculpting the rest of the disk and the rest of the star system. Although the actual evolution and the actual sculpting is always different. And so far, no disk has been alike. All of them seem to have something unusual, something unique, and sometimes even something we cannot explain. And one of the main goals of trying to understand their evolution is to basically understand how certain disks evolve terrestrial planets or potentially even Earth-like planets. How exactly did Earth form? But in order to start answering these questions, we first have to start looking around at examples where things are a little bit unexpected. And actually, one of the recent discoveries from the James Webb is such example. And it's from a very, very famous star, Formula Hall. One of the brightest stars out there, and one of the closest such stars to us. A type A star, approximately 25 light years away, that's technically a triple star system, containing two smaller, much farther away partners. But we're not particularly interested in these partners just yet. We are interested in the main star, and mostly because it seems to produce an excess of infrared radiation, perfect for James Webb observations. But for a very long time we knew where this is coming from. The excess of infrared radiation is produced by a very large planetary disk. A disk that's actually pretty well known and has been observed many times before because it's also one of the closest to us. In this image it sort of looks like an eye. But back in the days it was also one of the first candidates for a potential exoplanet discovered in a nearby star system. A planet that you sort of see simulated right here known as Homoho b. Later on renamed as Dagon obviously named after the god from H.P. Lovecraft. But even though this planet was optically observed, and was even seen by Hubble telescope as an object you see right here, in the end it turned out to be not a planet. Within just a few years, by 2012, the scientists have actually realized that it seems to be some kind of an expanding dust disk, very likely resulting from an ancient collision. Which is of course ironic, because in this case, the name Dagon makes a lot more sense. Ancient catastrophic collision of humongous proportions. But this should not be a surprise coming from this star system here. This is an extremely young star system. It's believed to be anywhere between 100 to maybe 300 million years old, and so the star here is still evolving and still forming planets. The star itself is almost twice as massive as our sun and has a temperature of over 8000 degrees Celsius. It's also almost double the size and is about 17 times brighter. And so here the star is way more powerful and way more extreme than our sun. But the recent observations from the James Webb make it even more extreme. This was reported in the study you can find in the description below. And so here the scientists discovered that it seems to have an extreme debris disk, with the overall protoplanetary disk being absolutely enormous compared to other disks scientists have observed. So here we have an inner disk containing a lot of carbon grains and something that's similar to ash. This is extremely close at about 0.1 astronomical units away from the star. We then have a larger disk with larger particles up to a distance of about 1 astronomical units. We then have the outer disk that goes all the way to 133 AU away from the center and seems to have a very strange toroidal shape and a very sharp edge, with all of this also inclined by about 24 degrees. Sometimes the scientists refer to it as the Formal Hose Kuiper Belt. But more strangely, and recently confirmed by the James Webb, are these unusual dusty structures that seem to be extremely complex compared to the Kuiper belt or the asteroid belt in a solar system. While at the same time it also discovered the inner belt that's never been seen before. And the assumption here is that a lot of this was most likely formed as a result of very massive collisions by potentially really large protoplanetary bodies. So kind of similar to how we expect asteroid collisions, but in this case potentially on much larger scale and involving something absolutely enormous, with one of these possibly visible back in 2008 and disappearing in 2014. So this event right here was probably one of these collisions. But the question then becomes, where are the planets though? With the other question obviously being, why exactly is this so complex 
and so different from the solar system or from many other disks we've seen so far. Why is there such an unusual dust cloud? Why are there so many unusual misaligned disks? And what's causing all of this extreme activity? So there's potentially a lot of collisions here and a lot of destruction, but it's not clear where the planets are. But because these disks are misaligned, there's a chance that there are planets hiding somewhere inside. We just can't see them yet. Nevertheless, even compared to the solar system, this is really extreme. For example, the asteroid belt in the solar system stretches for about one and a half astronomical units, whereas in Tfomoho, it stretches for about 73 AU, up to about 80 AU away from the star. And that's about 10 times larger than predicted or expected. On top of this, it seems to have another intermediate asteroid belt between the inner and outer disks, but this one with a tilt of 23 degrees. Currently, this tilt is unexplained, but most likely caused by something really massive in orbit around the star. At the same time, the scientists recently discovered another one of these unusual huge debris clouds that previously was mistaken for a planet. And this one seems to be 10 times bigger compared to the one from back in 2004. Which obviously suggests that these collisions or whatever is happening here seems to be kind of common. What exactly is happening here? Only time will tell. More studies, more investigations, more observations with the James Webb. But these unusual strange disks and even unexplained disks are probably really common. Here's actually another one from a different study that was just released. An unusual disk that surprised the scientists when they realized it seems to produce unusual shadows in various rings around the system. Now this one is a little bit farther away, it's about 200 light years away from us, but even at this distance, the scientists are able to observe various effects happening on the surface of the disk. And here we actually basically just got lucky because it's sort of facing us so we can see everything really well. And so at first it doesn't look too strange or too unusual and potentially contains two different planets based on the observations of gaps, maybe even three. But what surprised the scientists were these shadows that started to appear back in 2015 and 2016. And it wasn't really clear at first what's happening here until the scientists modeled this and realized it probably resembles something like this. There is some kind of a gravitational interaction between these disks and possible planetary objects that are warping these disks so much that they end up having inclination and produce shadows on each other's surfaces. But if that's the case, and if all of this is caused by planets, it's sort of unclear right now why these planets are in such unusual inclinations and why they seem to orbit in a very different way from everything else in the star system. And currently the scientists think that there's maybe some kind of a Jupiter-like planet orbiting every 15 years, possibly responsible for at least some of these formations. But why this unusual planet has these effects, or how it came to be, is currently unknown. Although this is not the first time the scientists have seen unusual shadows or unusual misaligned disks, but it's definitely one of the strangest ones out there. There's an older video on the channel somewhere in the description that talks about another one that seemed to have several disks with completely different inclination. So it does seem to be sort of common. So they do seem to exist out there. It's just uncertain why. It's extremely unlikely that anything like this happened in a solar system. And so exactly what makes this unusual star TW Hydra so unusual is not really a question we can answer just yet. But studying these disks and understanding how these planets form is super important in order to understand how terrestrial planets form and how one day some of these stars could produce planets like Earth. But until future discoveries, especially the ones from the James Webb that can generally see these disks really well, that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. Check out all of the relevant links in the description below and also some additional videos about this topic as well. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.